Thank you, Mr Speaker. Firstly, I thank the Minister for advance sight of her statement. I share the Government's deep concern about the outbreak of Ebola in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and I am pleased to hear that £25 million of UK aid has been given to the response. We hope it goes some way to containing this deadly outbreak. In addition, supporting neighbouring countries to prepare to tackle the disease is fundamental and welcomed. In 2014, we learnt the hard way what happens when action isn't taken fast enough to halt the cruel and deadly Ebola virus. We all remember with great sadness how too many people tragically lost their lives in West Africa, and none of us will ever forget the fear and chaos the virus wrecked on the affected communities and indeed right across the globe. I'm sure we all agree we must act now to avoid a repeat of these horrific scenes and help the DRC contain this outbreak. Mm -hmm. So with the World Health Organization reporting that 213 people have died since August the 1st in the DRC and the, and the humanitarian agency Medicines Sans Frontieres confirming 366 cases, let's be sure that DFID steps up and ensures the UK plays a crucial leadership role alongside the international community in responding to this outbreak, just as we did in Sierra Leone four years ago. Yeah, yeah. But while emergency humanitarian res response is an integral part of DFID's work, I am sure the Minister agrees with me that prevention is better than emergency response. And while we send aid to DRC, we cannot and must not turn our backs on providing the long-term support that will ensure countries across the Global South have appropriate health systems set up in the first place. So it is deeply disappointing, therefore, that her department has dropped health spending from 18% of DFID spend in 2014 to 12% in 2017. Meanwhile, spending on banking and financial services has been on the increase as the department appears to lose sight of its core work and instead increases spending on promoting private companies expand their profits. Just this year, the aid watchdog ICAI told DFID it really needs to improve its work on strengthening health systems. So can I ask the Minister, therefore, if she feels her department has learnt the lessons of the 2014 Ebola outbreak and recognises that supporting countries to build strong, well-managed public services is the only way to ensure that we will not see these outbreaks again in the future. Thank you. Yeah.